going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Amanda here and I'm here today to talk to you all about Instagram. So if you guys are listening on the podcast, this is also going to go on the podcast as well. So what's going on Bucci Radio community? I'm here to talk about Instagram for a couple of reasons. Number one, I am obsessed with Instagram and I think it is the number one most en growing and engaged platform that there is right now. I don't think I know so many businesses, so many people are getting on Instagram and even if <laughs> the people who are getting on there now finally were really resistant to it in the beginning and they're like, my customers aren't on there, pretty much everyone's getting on there now and people are starting to realize, hey, this personal brand thing is not really going away anytime soon and it's a really good idea to start building something on there right now that's going to represent who you are, what you're all about, the people that you help and the problem that you solve and just you in general. So you creating something on Instagram is going to be important for you moving into the future regardless of if you're getting a job interview or if you're creating your own business or if you just want to start building something in a community so with whatever you do in the future, you have people to talk to about it and connect with you that already love you for you. And I'm so passionate about Instagram because I just love connecting with people on there. I think it's one of the most amazing platforms and there's so many capabilities. And I think a lot of people think about Instagram in the wrong way, not in a bad way or anything, but when I'm asking for feedback from you guys, like, what do you need? What do you want? What's the most confusing for you right now? Everyone says growth and engagement, which I understand. So I'm like, okay, growth and engagement. How can I teach about growth and engagement? And today I wanna to talk to you all about Instagram and how it's actually four different platforms. Yes, it is one app, but it's actually four different platforms and I'm going to explain what the four platforms are and how you're actually gonna go about utilizing them in your business so you can not only grow, but you can connect and engage and then sell some stuff. So obviously the first one is the Instagram feed. So you go on there, you go to your regular feed, you're already following people and you scroll, 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 and then you go into your explore page and then you see your feed again, scroll, scroll, scroll. You're finding people, it's constantly searching, it's a searching platform. You're looking for stuff that you like, you're looking for stuff that's entertaining. And if you're thinking about what to post, think about this. I'm looking for stuff that I like. I'm looking for stuff that's entertaining. I'm probably not really looking for things that are gonna help me, but that's what I end up finding. And that's what I end up engaging with. So you're not just scrolling so you can engage and like and learn something, but what you end up clicking on and that helps you learn, that's what you engage with. So you do have to care about your feed. Your feed is probably the number one place that you get found at this point still. There's still a lot of other ways and ways to utilize the different parts of the platform, but you have to care about your pictures. You have to care about your content. It has to be part of the game. Instagram literally just wants to create an amazing user experience. It wants people to be addicted to it, which we are. But if you're creating content that helps people stay on Instagram, then Instagram's gonna reward you. So you just have to make good shit. Like they don't need you to do crazy, weird hashtaggy things and this little thing and this little thing and the stories and stuff like that. They don't need you to do all that. They just need you to create the way that the platform was made to create and make beautiful stuff. So if you're posting good photos, if you're posting engaging videos, and engaging doesn't necessarily mean that like it has to have a lot of comments or anything in this section. Of course, that's what you want for engagement, but the video itself has to be engaging. So the video that you're watching right now probably has title bars on the top and the bottom if you're watching it on Instagram. I do repurpose my content for Instagram and there's probably subtitles and there's probably like an emoji somewhere. It's probably stuff popping up. If I talk about something, um, we can make something pop up here and here and Emma can make her work her magic, but engaging, like people have to want to watch it or see it or read what you have to say. But the game is to get something that goes into the explore page. So it has to be good. It has to be quality. And then the other thing that's a part of the platform that's the four, first is feed, second is story. Story is literally everything right now. Like Instagram is putting so much energy and effort into making people get on story. They're constantly updating their capabilities. GIFs are getting more animated. So they're just adding AI and virtual reality type of stuff into the GIFs, into the emojis that you can use on Instagram, into the way that they have the filters, into the way that they you can edit the, and edit the stories. You can create stories in so many different ways now pay attention because Instagram wants you to go onto the stories and put your face on there and show up and so do your people. And stories are good for growth. I would say feed is number one for growth and exposure, which is what a lot of you guys want. Feed, growth, and exposure. Play the game, make good shit, make nice stuff like people wanna see. Stories is the best for engagement and connection and probably business. And I'll talk to you a little bit about that. But 
Think about different things that you want for your Instagram. You want engagement, you want growth, and you want business. Stories is really good for engagement, connection, and business. So number one, you're sitting here on stories and you're like, hi, I'm talking to you about something. I love you guys. Can you send me a DM and talk to me about what you, what you really want? I found that this is really interesting. Answer this poll here, swipe up for this people are just doing stuff on there and they're like interacting with you as you're creating your story. So it's the number one best way and the most increasing an engagement part of the platform. I think people are going off of feed a little bit more and going on to story. I notice myself that when I'm scrolling the feed, I won't stop to like things as much, but I'll go click on stories and I'll go engage with the stories and I'll message people back on the stories. And stories are so, so important. So if you're not focused on your stories, get on there and show your face and show the fuck up. Next is gonna be live. So live is its own platform. Live streaming video is becoming more and more popular. Facebook is totally utilizing um, and serving and rewarding those who are using live video. And I think Instagram is too. I don't do a whole lot of live video, couple different reasons for me personally. Number one, I grew, I grew my platform mostly being a fitness bikini competitor. So the people that come on there are kind of weird sometimes and like it's a little bizarre and uh, it's not my ideal client <laughs> as much as I would like it to be. So that's kind of what's going on with my Instagram. But if you're growing an Instagram from the ground up and you're only focusing on content that's gonna serve your ideal client, get on there. Cause the people that are on there already are gonna, are gonna be the people that are excited to talk to you. And it's going to be really good for growth because it's going to show up on a top live or it's gonna show up on people's feeds who's already following you. And, and Instagram does reward you for using live. Not only that, but it's going to be really good for engagement and connection. It's going to be something that you can do instead of Instagram stories and you can get on live and talk about something for a little bit longer of a time. So if I wanted to make a three to five minute talk on Instagram, I would put it on live, not on story. Story is probably something that's gonna be a minute long, tops a minute or two minutes or so. And then your feed is gonna be a picture or a minute long video and then a caption. So there's different places to do different types of things. And the fourth platform that I would say is inside of Instagram is DM. DM is the shit. I literally love my DM. I don't always get to people in my DM. So if you've messaged me, I'm so sorry. I get hundreds of messages a day, but DM is literally like its own separate platform. It's essentially like email. Um, I do still recommend you guys start an email list and start growing that because I don't own the people in my Instagram DMs. Instagram does. I own my email list. But if you have Instagram DM, it's probably the number one way that you can connect with people. So DM has a couple of different features and capabilities that I want you to think about and utilize tomorrow. I want you to think about just messaging people back and forth. Go find an ideal client and find maybe their Instagram story and you can just press DM right there. It's really non-threatening. You can be like, that's funny, that's cool, whatever. Ask them a question. You can just message someone directly from their story. So I want you to try doing that. I also just want you to try having a back and forth text conversation almost. It's like instant messengers, the best. I also want you to start using video. So you can do video responses inside of DM and it's so connective because it's literally like you're having a conversation with someone face to face without it being a story and without it being a post in your feed. It's so much more intimate than just a, a, a text conversation or just you in the caption responding back in a comment. It's private and it's intimate because it's just you and them. And then the other thing is that you can send links through the DM. So this is where you're gonna send a link to maybe have a call with you or watch a video of yours or go to a sales page or a landing page of yours. And this is a place where you can have an intimate conversation and say, you would be a really great fit for what I have. Here's a link, let's chat about it. I'll send you a video back, we'll go back and forth. Maybe I can give you my number. And there's that. So there's a couple of different things I want you guys to think about. Your feed, playing the game so you can get growth and exposure from the feed directly. Stories so you can connect and engage and show who you are on stories. Live videos so you can create authority and do some different types of talks and trainings in a longer period of time. And DM, DM is for intimacy and connection with one ideal client. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know below if you found it helpful, what you guys are going to be doing today in order to enhance your Instagram game and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye. 
If you're an ambitious entrepreneur and you are starting to grow your business and you want some more support, you love these videos but they're not really enough for you because they're really short and you just want some more, I actually have something amazing for you that I want to invite you to join. I have a $50 a month membership club called the Ignite Your Fire Collective and it's where hundreds of entrepreneurs come in, support each other, and then learn directly from me on a monthly basis. So imagine videos like this that you just watched that were super helpful, but imagine them being an hour long and then you get to go back and forth with me doing a Q&A and then spend time with other entrepreneurs inside of the community um, for the rest of the month and then you can just go back and forth with each other, support each other, learn from me and from the rest of the community. Come join. I would love to have you there. I know it's going to be so helpful for you and if you join today, you can get the last three trainings that I have done so you can get access to the archives of the last three trainings that I've done and then you can get the ones that are going to be coming up for every other month of the year. So go ahead and click the link below. It's amandabucci.com slash IYF collective, Ignite Your Fire Collective. It's going to be right here in the link. I would love to have you join. Come see us inside of there and I'll catch you guys there.